Everybody, Richard here. It's been a while since I've done a proper video. The last few were just me griping about uh, online game cheaters and such. But um, I wanted to do a video review for the Hot Toys Abigail Whistler figure. Uh, it's supposed to be Jessica Beale from uh, Blade 3, basically. Blade Trinity. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. I um, technically cheated. The body is just regular female true type, uh, not the uh, rubber armed one like like the Beale character was. So I've got all the clothing pieces and such. It's hard to do this one handed. Well anyway, uh, this is zips up. Really should have used my tripod. Alright. Yeah, the, uh, the sleeves unzip. Of course, you've got the little lace-up leather one for uh, protecting her from the bow. This is actually the folded-down version of the bow that goes into the little leg holster here. I uh, I read that it could be clipped and opened up. And since this one actually came with the holster, I figured I'd just go ahead and get that. Um, this is one of the uh, UV arrows. Of course, here she's got the little plague arrow. Uh, clear that's going to be. I'm not getting too close, too far out. Anyway, uh, originally I'd made a series of what six arrows, I guess, to go along with it because it was hard to find the quiver. So I actually made the quiver too. Um, and this was the broadhead I made to go along with it. And then the other ones are just uh, straight. You know, silver tip. Um, the shoes are wrong. Because, uh, like I said, I just used the true type, and so I modified. I had some modified shoes that worked for it, so I used those. The clothes are all the Hot Toys ones the belts, the rigs. Ah, crap. Knocked that one out of her fingers. Uh, the, the, the holster and the pistol are from Hot Toys. Of course, the jacket the sleeves unzip, and if you the, uh, the jacket, you could potentially close it, and the zipper does work. I don't know how clear that's going to come in. I can't really adjust the focus on this thing very, very well, but once you start filming, you can't readjust the focus. I don't know why they made it like that, but they did. Um, one item that was curiously lacking from the Hot Toys uh, thing was an iPod, so I kind of made her one. I mean, it was one of those things that she hadn't ever seen in the film, so I figured she should have one, but I, I actually haven't really looked for any pockets to shove it in or anything. Um, but you notice over here, this, this hand, it's just a regular hand, uh, made to grip that, and this one has a black leather kind of half glove to cover the fingers for, for shooting the bow. And here we have assortment of other hands, the gun gripping hand, the same thing. Fist for when she wants to, I guess, punch one of the vampires. Left fist. And here we got the UV bow that she had in the film. Unfortunately, it doesn't fold up uh, like the one the film did. Because if it did, I'd probably have it on, on the back of her belt. But still a pretty cool item. And this little UV arc here can actually be removed, but I like it better with it on. Um, yeah, so, like I said, I kind of cheated on the actual figure here, because I had the true type. Yeah, I'm going to unzip this other sleeve a little so I can show you the, the uh, little wrist gauntlet blade on here, too. This is the one that knocked the arrow out again. You know, kind of slides down, flips out, and then just to slide it back up. There we go. So you can see the little blade there. It probably should be on the other side of the wrist, but I'm not going to bother with it right now. I'll fix it later. Yeah, so anyway, I'm working on, you know, various figures from these films. Kind of have a blade that's generic at the moment at the and this is the old toy biz vest I'm going to re 
I'm going to modify it to fit this guy. Yeah, yeah, don't fall off your stand. Because uh, I, I like the look of this one because it's the blade two vest, but I want to modify it so it fits him better because it's huge. And of course, I got the old. Uh, well, I showed this in the True Type video, you know, the, the True Type Advanced video, but here he is. You know, kind of fully decked out. I've darkened his hair up a bit. And he's got a couple neck chains like he did in the film. This probably should dip a little lower into his chest, but I'm not really concerned with that. I like this sculpt better than the one Hot Toys went with. Uh, yeah, I know what, the hair's messed up. Don't pat on the hair too much. I need to fix it, but haven't been bothered yet. But yeah, so back to this. This is you know, pretty decent figure. It was pieced together from couple different things. I I, I, <clears throat> I saw some complaints where the rubbery arms didn't do right with the bow and the arrow and all that, so like I said, I went with the regular true type arms. So if I do decide to pose her shooting the bow, she's got more articulation. I, I probably need to do something about the shoes, but for now I'll I'll live with them as they are. And uh, you know, it's it's one of my favorite figures now. I, I keep it Probably displayed with the other ones here, and uh, this one, yeah, you can tell he's going to be the uh, Ryan Reynolds uh, Hannibal King character. He's very early on right now. Uh, yeah, he's got a ways to go. Doesn't really look anything like Ryan Reynolds, but uh, yeah, y you get the idea. But yeah, so this one here, really happy with the way she's turned out. Like I said, this is the fold down bow, but I unfolded it and strung it up. Took a little research to find out exactly how to re or how to string a compound bow, and you know, once I did that, I was all set, got it all taken care of. Because it was the one that was folded, it didn't have little balancing things on it, and I had to make those. But now that's all done, it looks pretty good. And I mean, you know, it's mainly for display anyway, so it's not like it's going to be used. But uh, that's it. I, I need to do some more videos reviewing more of my figures. Um, less griping about people online, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, I need to get back on finishing these over here up. Yeah, if you, if you see that picture, if you've seen my other videos, you know what that is. Uh, I'm going to make one final one for uh, my cousin Paul, P. Feezy online. And uh, <clears throat> I really need to finish the other ones too, but you know, sometimes you get sidetracked. And right now I'm working 60 hour weeks, so it's kind of hard to take care of things that I would otherwise have taken care of. But that's it. My battery is almost dead anyway, so I'm going to get